Hello, beautiful people. Before I even start with the tutorial today, I would like to thank every one of you guys uh, because now we have we are a thousand, your family of thousand members. So uh, I'm I'm very happy, uh, and I'm very happy to know that you guys like the content of I'm I'm publishing. Uh, you guys are very supportive and you give me motivation as always I say to keep on going and putting out so many good videos for you guys. Unfortunately, sometimes I'm kind of inconsistent, but uh, I try my best to not let you guys wait for very long. And uh, I hope we will find a way to adjust. A small announcement. Uh, we will start, I will start publishing uh, different kind of videos along with this tutorial our e-commerce apps is not going to stop Don't worry about that But since we've been for the past two or four months I've been working only on this and publishing videos only on this and it's kind of repetitive So I will start new playlists for shorter applications and I'm planning on starting a playlist called build my app so you guys can suggest the type of app you would like me to build for you. Uh, preference has to be something small, not something very complex like this. Something like um, a reminder, alarm uh, app, and this kind of this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, and now I'm working on a app using SQ SQLite uh, for money management and financial management so you can record your expenses and this kind of stuff i guess this app app is short and i can make it in two videos or so and i'll publish that one along with this one do not will not stop with the e-commerce app but i'm just trying to diversify the content so you can learn uh, di different kind of stuff okay okay enough of the talking i did talk a lot but thank you thank you again thank you again let's go to the video now uh, so what's happening here on our last video we were to work on this card okay what I usually do is that I develop this app uh, then I do the video again I just develop offline to test if everything is working fine the dimensions and this kind of stuff but since I'm trying to speed up the process uh, for a couple videos I will just do it live if I may call it like that, but we'll be developing this together. But but somehow it's a way for you guys to know how I usually think when I'm developing the apps or what's the what are the steps for you to take the way of thinking. Okay, uh, let's do it. Um, uh, here we have this. What we want is to build. I will put maybe two items here on our card just. To test this stuff and what are, what are the steps for us to follow uh, first because we want to organize our app the best way possible I'll come here to the pages and I'll create a page called card I guess I already have that we have it here okay so um, what is going to happen guys here I will this video is going to be long I don't know how long is it going to take but it's going to be long um, I'll come to the components not the pages okay then we will create a component called card products okay <clears throat> I'm sorry card product and we'll then use this component inside of our card page okay so with that being said we will do this now zoom in just a little bit and we'll create here import 
package flatter material dot dart okay here I'm going to use stateful widget then we're going to call this card products okay so this is the component and we are going to call this component from the card page here so we are going to import the component okay let me zoom and just to make this easy to find out in case of problems I'll write my import then I will write here import package not pages but yes components card products okay okay so what are we going to do now is start working on this component but way before we do that stuff we can just put here our body tag and then I'm going to give new container no 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 we'll, we'll not need to use the container I can just give you new card products okay this is what are we doing here so just to make sure that this is working properly we will open this file and I can just write child new text write anything control save this we open up our app and you have it here so it means it's working okay I guess that I can go I can make this smaller now and this small as well so we can see what's happening let me open up this page and we will start working okay let us think let us think together here we are going to display products uh, which were added to the cart since we are going to use json we, by implementing the implementing firebase we use json we are going to build our app in a way that is going to be easier for us to implement this kind of stuff afterwards so i would need to have a list here but wait here instead of returning container we can return new list view builder mm -hmm. we need to use item count okay we can put three for now and then here we're going to use context then index
what can we do now let us try to do you text return I'm sorry return you text okay <clears throat> so as you can see here now we have text 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 three times let me zoom and explain you what happened here I guess that this is big enough so guys here we have like we are providing a list view builder because we want the products to come here here and here and here and here and here and here just like a list view right so we'll need to use a list view builder to do this stuff automatically okay uh we are going to use down here a variable list no oh, i can write products on the card this is a this is a variable okay but what what's happening here I use I usually give lengthy names uh, because it's going to be it's kind of self-explanatory pro products on the card so uh, since I don't like to write a lot I will just come here and copy the structure of this list and we're going to add it on that come back here control V uh, let me delete maybe just leave two two elements here I guess it's going to be good enough how many are here three I don't need three I want two Okay, so we have two elements here. So now we have the list. Uh, what else are we going to want to build? On our on our list of view, on our list of elements, we are going to need the name of the product, of course, picture of the product, of course. Uh, old price we're not really going to need so we can delete here this key and this value gone we have the price of the product now then name uh, picture price we'll need the size the color and the quantity do you remember the back from this screen here whatever you can pick size color quantity so we will work work in such a way that before picking every single one of these components we cannot buy or add to the card okay um okay let us add here size don't worry afterwards we're going to pick all of these values from the database now we're just providing the structure size i'm going to give something like m then i'm going to give color color is going to be red then quantity one I have to put comma here 
Okay, so we have the basic structure over here and we are going to maybe copy this stuff yeah copy this stuff and paste it here okay just to differentiate this we are going to take red dress it, or maybe we can take the shoes I'll copy all of this okay go back to our card and we'll change the blazer here for the heels and I'll write here shoes what is the price of the shoes and here we have 50 bucks I need to change these names and here we have 50 bucks for the shoes oops 50 color red size seven um, I'm treating this as a string but no problem what else color red here I'm going to put black okay for the list part is done now we are going to create stateless I'm going to call this single card product okay and for the single card product we're going to have some final variables one is going to be product name let me see if I cannot get some help from here copy come back to the cart to spare us some time paste I remove the old price then we need product size product color product quantity copy product size product color product quantity but just to differentiate this I will put cart in front of this to avoid any kind of possible problem that would come from the future we don't want to have problems in the future and we don't want to repeat the name of our class data attributes so okay now we're going to build a constructor here and to build a constructor or if you somehow don't know what a constructor is constructor is basically a function which is going to be automatically called seen when you call the class 
and it's used to initialize the values of the data attributes of the class so we're going to put here these dot product name these dot okay we don't really the order doesn't really matter here product price this dot product picture the dot product quantity this dot product size okay here we have it now coming down here we are going to <clears throat> oh before we even do that stuff let us do instead of returning these over here we are going to return single product and for the card product name we are going to give products on the card oops index name <clears throat> so for the first index or the first time this is this is going to take the name of this variable and the second index okay here we don't need to write this hard coded I'll just need to write products on the card dot plan okay so the number of items in the list view are going to be the num equal to the number of items on the product card list okay uh, then card product color let me just copy this stuff to make our lives somehow easier dot color okay <clears throat> quantity what else size here <clears throat> I'm sorry uh, and then other than the size we have price here And picture okay we are going to pass all of these values for this class so so now let us start working here and we don't want to return a container but let's try to return a card widget oops oops card okay um as a child of the card we are going to return a list tile 
and for the title just to test this stuff we're going to give uh, you text then in here card product name okay let us see and shut on now what are we going to do after this for the subtitle we're going to give new uh, I will we may need to use a row here or a column let us test how would it be using a column Okay, we have something. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be centered though, but still, we have something. Uh, why am I using this column here? Instead of a column, I'm going to use inside of the column, I'm going to use a row. And for the row, I'm going to give, let me try to provide the expanded uh, child, uh, size, new text. size and uh, maybe color mm-hmm so here we have size and color so for the size I can try to give here just you padding or better new text product size Control save to say uh, it's really way up there, and we don't want this to be way up there. So we may need to use a widget called padding. Let's try with this basic padding. Still, so instead of this padding here, insert dot from left, right, bottom. For the left, we can give. Okay, we can give five. Or oh, 5.0 because we are dealing with double values. So for the right, I'm going to give 12. 
0.0 and for the bottom we're going to give 5 so we'll see how this comes out and uh, not very good not how we expected so to deal with this situation we can do something like this let me get rid of this stuff and I'll write here new text um, size control save it to see here I have the size then we're going to add a widget padding okay so I will copy this and I will paste it down here and instead of having size here you're going to have correct seven okay so I'll comment this section is for this size of the product then I can just copy this and repeat but or else new padding const edge oops so from the left we can give this 20 then just give eight here eight here and eight here okay let us give a child for this widget child we can just copy this stuff here and paste it here and we can reduce here for C to 6 okay or maybe 4 and here instead of give color okay and what else can we do we can copy this come here paste it and just put cart product color then we know that the product color is so for to be for it to be easy to differentiate we could of course try to okay this set let me just come over here and comment this section is for okay okay uh, what else now now we can do 
we can edit the we can add some style here text style try just to differentiate color colors dot red how about that and we can give the same oops oops and we can provide the same style down here okay now we have this done but do not forget that we are inside of a column and now we may be wondering why did I use a column but this is why um, this section is the product price new text then I'll put here dollar sign no uh, forward slash dollar sign dollar sign again card uh, price okay let's see uh, not quite what we want to have So how can we work with this? Let me try to add a new container. Um, then we have alignment. Alignment dot Okay, top, uh, top what, top what? top left how about that and then we can give child new text and we're going to put here again the forward slash dollar sign dollar sign again the price and let us see this is what I wanted to have the price aligned over here so I just use a container and then I put this kind of stuff now uh, what are we going to do is simply to reduce you can change the, the, the padding of the size if you want to put four you can put four if you want to put something like two or zero you are free to do that so all of these will be aligned okay uh, what can we do now is add some style to this uh, style text style then we're going to add color 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 okay you can put some size font size and let me try 16.0 control save this I guess the 16 is big enough if you you can play around with these values no problem I have 17 here and you can also do We can also do font weight font weight dot bold okay 
and you can change the color as well uh, let us see how would that come out color colors dot red okay I guess it's good enough uh, now what are we going to do we are going to put something over don't forget that here we are inside of a list view and all of this is the subtitle section this column is present on the subtitle section but we can do here leading oops and we're going to put new image dot assets then we're going to picture let me just see how it is going to come out okay why is it like this we have to give some constraints of course so let's try to put here width of 100 and height of 100 now you can see we have everything in here and even if you think that this is big we can put even smaller value like 80 and 80 and I think that 80 is perfect so we can try to do double dot infinity and that was not a good idea we're going to leave this at 80 80 I think is big enough so uh, we are almost done with this the last thing we want to do here is to come where are we going to go We have the leading here. Let me comment this stuff out. So, uh, leading section here. Then I'll comment this stuff here. Title section done and here oops subtitle section done okay other than that we may need to do something else where are we going to do that am i inside of the okay not here list tile this is a column mm. What do I want? What do I want to do here? Is it is it good? Is it done? Uh okay guys, we are starting to I guess that this is almost done for our card we may need to do us like small adjustments for the the next videos but 
I guess that for now is good enough. I don't even know how long this video is. Uh, but we can do okay. I was looking for this trailing letters, letters. Uh, for example, I was sometimes you forget the, the names of the property of a widget, you just click command and click on the widget so you can come here and see how this kind of how what are the definitions of the widget and I was looking for this property called trailing and we can just come here almost I'm not going to give trailing uh, for the trailing you're going to give what is it going to be new column Our children new icon button is what I want icon icon start I need arrow arrow up icon like this and we'll copy this down here I'll put oops I guess I need to put the comma here we'll put arrow drop down okay let me run this and see. I believe you can start telling what am I trying to do here. Let me test if this is going to work. You text uh, one, for example. So this is going to be the item quantity. Instead of text, I'm going to put card product quantity here. Okay. So now I'm starting to think that maybe This widget was supposed to be a stateful widget because we're planning on changing the state of this. But okay, let me see if I can implement something here. Okay, down to the class, we will. I will try to create a function uh, void. The name of the function will be add. Quantity, or when this method is called card quantity, we, we were supposed to pass the reference of the object calling <clears throat> the function, but okay, I'm just testing is equal to plus one. Okay. We will work with this afterwards. We'll find a way of increasing the values here. And by increasing these values, this the total amount is also supposed to increase. Uh, by clicking this, it's supposed to open up a checkout page. We don't have to work on that now. But the card shopping list, the, the, the card page is completely done for now. And uh, <clears throat> I really know that this video is very, very lengthy, but I hope it was worth. We can do this as well. Oops.
Oops, 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 oops. Oops, 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 oops. Let me rerun the app. <clears throat> okay. Type int is in a substring of a string. Let us check. what the problem is oh 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 i know i know what the problem was the problem is down here quantity this is not an integer this is not a string is what i meant so we have to put this inside quotation marks and if you run the app the problem is solved let's try to double down on this we run the app and see what happens As you see, if we increment the elements of this, this will so increment as well. It's going to be very handy and easy for us to implement our backhand because of the structure we are following here. Guys, if you made it this far, I'm very proud of you. And leave in the comment section just telling me you made it this far, you saw the video until the end. Thank you very much for the support, for the love. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to leave a comment, suggestions, everything you would like to say. You're free to say it. So with that being said, guys, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.